Hey you, welcome back to another video. Just in case you guys haven't tried this, cranberry ginger ale, try it, because it's delicious. Just letting you know. All right, so Resolve has dropped another update, 18.1, and it's got some pretty cool features in it. So I'm gonna do a video talking about it. This time I'm gonna make a video for like each feature or set of features that are kind of related to each other. So that way I can keep the videos kind of short. So total, I think I'm gonna do about three kind of shorter videos uh, for the next week or so. And then uh, next week or the week after, we'll get back to kind of more regular paced videos. I'm gonna break down the new features in 18.1 and this video we're talking about the voice isolation and dialogue leveler effects that have been added to Resolve. I'm also gonna do another video on the sky replacement effect that came into Resolve as well with 18.1. I think it's a really cool effect. They added some cool features to it and uh, it's actually, it works really good, especially if you're in a pinch and you need a sky replacement. Um, and then the last video I'll probably do is gonna be grouping together all of like the editing features. They added quite a few and I think they're pretty cool as well. So I'm gonna cover those. All right, now these two effects you're gonna find in the Fairlight page, uh, which is the page dealing with all the audio stuff. You can also use these effects on the cut and edit page in the inspector, which I will show you guys in this video as well. You get the same options between the two. Sometimes effects are a little bit different depending on which page you use them on, but with these you get the same options. So I'm gonna show you both, although in the Fairlight page you get all of the other audio stuff. So if you're working with like other effects, you're probably gonna be on that page anyway. So I'm gonna show you that. now. Why do you need to know about audio stuff? Well, even if you're editing and in some niche cases, just color grading on a project, you may still need to do stuff with audio, editing some of the clips, doing some adjustments. It's probably gonna be very minimal, but it's always a good thing to have in your tool belt to know how to do. Also, audio is very important to any production that you're doing. They say audio is like half or more of the experience of watching a film as well. If the audio is terrible, the images can be as pretty as possible, but you're probably not gonna wanna stay and watch. So if these tools can help you get cleaner audio faster, all the better. So if you look on the right side here, we have our audio track effects. And at the top, you'll see these two new ones added for 18.1. The first one is voice isolation. And the second is the dialogue leveler. Just briefly, voice isolation will analyze the dialogue and the track. And if there's background noise, it'll do its best to remove just the noise and make it so that your voice comes through clearer. So for example, let's say you have a fan and it's making too much noise around you. As you can hear right now, that's a lot of noise, it's pretty loud. We can then take that clip and import it into Resolve. And this first time through, I'm gonna play it, it's gonna be without voice isolation so you can hear the fan noise in the background. So this is me testing out the voice isolation feature in Resolve 18.1. As you can hear, the fan is, you can hear it in the background, it's very clear, very noisy. Now if we turn on voice isolation here, I'm gonna let it loop and I'll turn it on as the clip is going so that way you can hear what the effect actually does. So this is me testing out the voice isolation feature in Resolve 18.1. So this is me testing out the voice isolation feature in Resolve 18.1. So this is me testing out the voice isolation feature in Resolve 18.1. That's pretty cool, right? So it's doing a really good job cleaning up that audio. Obviously on productions or any videos you're making, you're gonna want to get the cleanest audio possible while you're filming, but sometimes things happen or you may just be in a noisy place and don't have time to get things like ADR or a clean audio take. In that case, this tool is very useful. Let's say maybe you don't want to apply it to a full audio track, then you can just cut out the portion of audio you want to affect and add it to a separate track and just run the effect on that track. Even more small, scale than that, you can just add an edit to your clip and then open up the inspector. Under the audio tab, you'll see two new dialogue effects here and you have the same options as before. Really cool and multiple ways to apply it. Now the controls are really simple and it's just the one knob here once you go into the effect settings. The higher you go, the more dramatic and the voice isolation becomes. Obviously, if you want it to sound natural, you can bring it down and the higher you go, the more sounds will be cut out, but you'll also start sounding a little bit like you're in a bubble so you do start getting a little bit of a weird effect. A little bit will go a long way and you can back it off until you get just the right amount. The more you back off of it the more background noise will also come through which can be useful if you want some room tone in there as well. 
Dialogue leveler is pretty straightforward too. You get options here to have more or less dynamic variation and focus on loud or quiet sounds more. You also get another option here to reduce background noise so that can pull the voice out as well. This is a nice fast way to get consistent levels without having to fidget with audio levels and do anything more than just flipping a switch. This way you don't have to mess with keyframes or anything else. Good use cases I found here for dialogue leveler is things like, let's say you're talking really quiet in a clip and then you suddenly talk really loud. The dialogue leveler will be able to take those and sort of normalize it. Also a situation that comes up a lot, especially in interviews or really anything that you're filming is you'll have people talking straight to the microphone and then you kind of turn off axis of the microphone or you kind of move away a little bit or whatever and the audio levels drop out. Dialogue leveler would be a good tool to use in that situation as well. In the parameters here, there's also a scrolling waveform. You can kind of see what it's doing and how it's affecting the audio as well. So that way you know what part it's affecting and how. All right, so that's where I'm gonna leave it for this video. Pretty quick and simple. I think the settings are very simple, but very powerful tools if you need it, if you're in a pinch or if you're using it on your own projects. I think they're pretty cool. I'll have some more shorter videos like this coming out, like I said, over the next week probably. Um, to go over some new features. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss any videos that come out. And until next time, go out there and create something. La Revedere.